A bunch of new electric cars has been recently unveiled, but often their production and availability for purchase are at least a couple of years into the future. What if you are shopping for an EV during the 2020 model year and would prefer to take a delivery of the car in the nearest future? Today, we will explore the best models of electric cars currently on sale and those that should be rolling off the production lines within a year, in case you are not in a total buying rush. Subscribe to our channel and let's explore this information-packed buying guide. Though not as discussed as the upcoming Tesla, this subcompact crossover is actually one of the best electric options to purchase in 2020. Priced in the US from $38,500 before incentives, the Nero comes powered by the same powertrain setup. Combining a 201 horsepower motor and 64 kilowatt hour battery, the model offers up to 239 miles of driving on a charge, 53 cubic feet of cargo capacity, and gets an ample collection of safety features. In Europe, the crossover is also available in a less powerful version, juiced by 39 kilowatt hour battery and a 136 horsepower motor. Being the first model of Volkswagen's all-electric ID series, this five-door hatch is expected to start deliveries of the launch edition in early 2020, with its base modification hitting the market sometime in 2021. The EV is also one of the several models developed under the company's umbrella of brands that will be built on the basis of the new MEB platform. The car was announced to get three battery options with the base 45 kilowatt hour one offering up to 184 miles of range. The top trim will feature a 77 kilowatt hour pack that should have enough juice for traveling slightly more than 300 miles. Before the Tesla Model 3's success story, the Nissan LEAF was considered the best-selling electric vehicle in the world. Regardless of its second spot these days, it remains a popular buy, mostly due to the practical hatchback design, below $30,000 price tag, and incentives eligibility that hasn't yet expired. There are three trim levels, S, LV, and SL, which are additionally sold in the plus configurations with the increase in the battery capacity from 40 kilowatt hour to 62 and a punchier motor. The Leaf is good for 150 miles of range and 226 miles in the E-plus version. It benefits from one-pedal driving, gets standard pro pilot assistance and safety tech, but still has rather controversial air cooling of the battery.
Depending on the market, the Tesla Model 3 is offered in three trim levels, Standard Plus, Long Range, and Performance. However, if you try giving a call to one of Tesla's stores to direct order, snatching the 35 grand Model 3 still remains possible. If you are looking for the fastest recharging capability, the upper long range and performance modifications are the way to go. Being compatible with 250 kilowatt level 3 superchargers, replenishing 172 miles in 15 minutes. These cars get dual motor all-wheel drive and a 75 kilowatt hour battery, good for 310 miles on a charge. In addition, the 473 horsepower performance does 0 to 60 in 3.2 seconds. Without a doubt, this is the most desirable electric crossover currently on sale, and its single competitor is the similarly specced corporate sibling Kia e-Niro, previously offered in a 39 kilowatt hour battery variant. The Kona has dropped the more affordable version and now gets equipped only with a 62 kilowatt hour pack good for 258 miles. There are three trim levels, SE, Value, and SEL. The lower-end model gets full smartphone connectivity, 7-inch infotainment, and safety assets. While going up the price ladder, you get 8-way adjustable power seats, leather seating, LED lights, head-up display, and a larger 10.25-inch display. The electric Kona is fun to drive, roomy on the inside, and rather good-looking. But, unfortunately, its availability for purchase has been limited lately. The all-new electric Mini Cooper SE will not become an EV that will reshape the face of modern automaking, but it definitely has the potential to disrupt the sales of internal combustion models of the British brand. The major selling point for this hatchback is the price. It is just $2,000 higher than that of the middle trim of the ICE model, but at the same time is as richly equipped. Stock features include 6.5-inch infotainment, heated seats, LED lighting, and leatherette upholstery. On the electrified side, though, this Mini is far from impressive. It can only work as an inner-city commuter, covering just 114 miles under the EPA cycle. Though the all-electric version of the Ionic is still quite young, in 2020, it arrived sporting a number of visual upgrades coupled with a few powertrain enhancements. On the outside, the new design headlights, DRLs, and 16-inch wheels are now available. While the cabin updates focus on the restyled dashboard, new touch controls for the heating and air conditioning, plus the improved 7-inch infotainment. Chasing more range, the 2020 Ionic gets a 38 kilowatt hour battery, 
representing a 36% increase in capacity, which should translate to around 160 miles of driving. It also comes with a more powerful motor, making 136 instead of 120 horses. Judging by the success of other Tesla cars, the upcoming crossover is without a doubt going to become a sales smash hit, especially since it is basically a raised version of the Model 3 with more interior and luggage space. The first deliveries are expected to take place by the end of 2020, and for now the CUV is available for pre-order in three variants. The long-range single motor does 300 miles on a charge while the dual motor modifications offer 280. The Model Y is extremely fast, getting to 60 in 5.5 to 3.5 seconds. It has an optional 7-seat layout, plus for $7,000 you can add full self-driving capability. Thank you for visiting our channel. Subscribe if you haven't already, hit the like button, and don't think twice about watching more episodes about electric vehicles. The links are waiting for you on the screen. See you later.